Very good day friends. Welcome to Ergo E-Learning. This course is about building systems. We know that buildings are consuming lot of energy and with the coming up energy crisis, we have to keep an eye on building energy consumption. For that, it is required to know more about building systems. So this course is about different building systems and their energy requirements. Basically different systems like lighting system, HVAC system, and uh, water heating system, pumping system and all, they are discussed in this video series. And this course will be very helpful to architects, engineers and all the consultants, those who are working in the field of building, designing and applications. So this is an introduction video about the course and in this I have mentioned about content of the course. For detail of the course, you need to go for registration of the course. Uh, as just said that building is a, an envelope or a premises where it cut off external environment to inver internal environment and for that we need to have different types of systems. So first system that is discussed in this series is ventilation system. It includes both type of ventilation, natural as well as mechanical ventilation system. Natural ventilation which was used in older buildings but now not used uh, and that has a best advantage that it was nature connected building. And with the rise in energy costs now again mechanical buildings are getting converted to natural ventilation buildings. So what is natural ventilation building? What design considerations are there? How building citation orientation will help? to achieve natural uh, circulation and ventilation achieved. Design guidelines by wind action as well as by stack action to design natural ventilation system for a building that is contained in this video series. Then there comes uh, mechanical ventilation and energy consumption related to that. So how to optimize performance of mechanical ventilation system so that it consumes minimal energy and enhance the energy performance of the building. So first part of this video series is about ventilation. Then second part is about how to achieve minimum equipment efficiency. Friends, we know that HVAC is the system which consumes highest energy in any building. So what are the possible sources by which we can reduce energy consumption? That is a motto of the second part. Here the whole building design approach is considered so that by an, uh, by a single system considering building as a single system we can reduce energy consumption so different methods of achieving this whole building design they are depicted in this video series so for example here one building image is shown and over there by different alternatives the building energy requirement can be reduced and some of them like having a proper shedding on the building in the sun, uh, sun travel direction or using evaporative cooling on the rooftop or going with the overhangs or going with the proper uh, location of cooling tower. So by adopting such uh, design criteria, we can make building energy efficient. So other possible energy saving measures they are discussed in the second part of uh, video series which enhances building performance. Alternatives of a refrigerative cooling system are there like using ground couple system or a desiccant cooling using night sky radiation or using evaporative cooling how they work and how they can be adapted for any building whether it is existing or a new design that is discussed in this video series. So details about non-refrigerative cooling techniques are given, the working mechanism and the product selection that is there. Then coming in the next part of that, what are central HVAC system, how their efficiencies are there, what is the range of their operation parameters that is part of this second video series. Then third part which is related to building design and systems, they are ducting and piping. Ducting is required to distribute cold or hot air across the building. So how duct work should be done so that it maintains 
or it achieves the building code to uh, to adopt a green building strategy so duct location as well as duct insulation duct maintenance they are discussed in this third part of video series followed by piping which is there for service hot water or for any air if air system is there then air distribution system it is there so how this piping and their insulation has to be done in building that is discussed fourth part of the course is about uh, service water heating so dedicated video series is there for this solar water heating as well as for other type of water heating both passive and active solar water heating are discussed then different types of uh, water heating which are non solar type like gas based or electricity based again they can be storage type or instantaneous heaters so what are the design considerations what are the losses involved they are uh, detailed in this video series and then followed by uh, the insulation which is a very important part when we talk about hot water services so that is discussed one option is there to prevent loss is by using heat traps to avoid circulation of hot water undue circulation so their mounting and their design is mentioned in this video course pumping is many a time a hidden uh, equipment which consumes a lot of energy so what is pumping how we can optimize pump performance that is discussed in this series then comes controls of the building any building whether it is having automation like there is a building automation system or manually controlled they use one or other type of control so effective use of control strategies and different types of control that is the subsequent part of this video series so different occupancy sensors different temperature control time switches they are also explained in this video series uh, hvac controls are very important because many location air side economizers are used so over there we need to operate dampers accordingly so how damper controls work that is a part of the series and there is a uh, discussion about cooling tower because with hvac system that comes cooling tower so how cooling tower is operated the performance parameters how to enhance the performance from energy and water consumption that is also in this video series so i believe that this video series is very much helpful to engineers to architects to design consultants those who are working in the field of building design and construction they should definitely go for this video series and it will be helpful to enhance their skills thanks for joining eco e learning